It's happening! The baby is coming! The baby is coming! Princess Cadence is having a baby! Thomas, slow down! You're going way too fast! I don't care! We only got two and a half minutes to make it to the house! Thomas, it might be just a kick or something. No time to explain. We have to keep going. Twilight's gonna be an aunt pretty soon. And I'm gonna be an uncle pretty soon. Okay, okay. Thomas is already acting a little too much. Oh, hi, Thomas. You want to race today? Sorry, Bertie. We don't have time right now. Princess Kate is having a baby at the main city's house, and I must get there right away. Princess Cadence is having a baby? Well, I gotta go tell the others. Here I am, Twilight. Hold your horses there. Whoa. Oh, no. The water. Whoops. That's going to leave a mark. Thomas, I told you it was just a kick. Yeah, Thomas, me and Shining Armor don't have a baby coming yet. Oh, yeah, right. Woo! Wow. See, Thomas, I try to tell you. Yeah, you're right, Percy. <laughs> it was just a kick. <laughs> Oh, hello, Birdie, Bruno, and Clover. What brings you three here? Oh, I told the others that Princess Cadence is having a baby. Oh, yeah, that. Uh, sorry, Birdie, Bruno, and Clover. Uh, false alarm. It was just a kick. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Another false alarm? That's the third false alarm this week. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry about that. Never mind. Let's get out of here. Thomas, I know you're excited about Princess Cadence's and Shining Armor's baby. I am too. Yeah, Twilight is right. You got a little carried away, Thomas. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hey, Thomas! Percy! There you are!
Oh, hi, Sebastian. What brings you here? There's something really cool I wanted to show you at Brenham Docks. Really, Sebastian? What is it? Follow me to Brenham Docks. Well, okay then. Come on, Percy. Let's go to Brenham Docks. But who's going to take care of that water tanker? Don't worry. We'll have someone to pick it up later. Okay, Thomas, if you say so. Now let's go to Burn Docks, shall we? <whistles> okay, Sebastian, what is this supposed to be? This is all the supplies and the decorations for the Sodor Day celebration party at the City Museum. A Sodor Day celebration party? At the Cine Museum? How exciting! And the engine that has been the most really useful and reliable by the end of the day gets to pull the very important delivery to the Cine Museum. And also, as all of you know, Twilight, her friends, and Spike are taking a cruise vacation around the Atlantic starting next week. And the engine that has been the most really useful and reliable by the end of the day gets to take a vacation cruise with Twilight and her friends and Spike. Wow! Congratulations, Twilight. You get to take a cruise vacation. Why, thank you, Thomas. Me and my friends need a vacation. And we certainly do, Twilight. Now go along, everyone. You all have jobs to do. I think the most really useful and reliable engine will be me because I'm the most biggest and strongest engine on Sodor. <coughs> ah, stop and nonsense. I think the most really useful and reliable engine will be me because I'm the most splendid and brightest red engine on Sodor. Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. I think you'll get the chance, Thomas. After all, you are Sir Tom Hatz and Princess Twilight Sparkle's number one engine. Yeah, I know, Edward. But get this. Twilight, her friends, and Spike are taking a cruise vacation around the Atlantic Ocean. I hope I can go with them. Then maybe you can be the most really useful and reliable engine. Maybe you'll get the chance. Anyway, I gotta go. I got some work to do. Wow. Wouldn't it be beautiful, Cranky? To go out at sea? To see the beautiful sights of the ocean? All I can see is water and waves. Nothing too exciting about the ocean, Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and Skooloo. Gosh, it's nice to see you. Yeah, how have you been? I've been great. Sir Tom Hatton Princess Celestia says that the engine that is the most really useful and reliable gets to pull this very important delivery to the City Museum for the Sodor Day Celebration Party. And also, the engine that is the most really useful and reliable gets to go on a vacation cruise with Twilight and her friends and Spike around the Atlantic Ocean. Wow! Cruise vacation around the Atlantic Ocean with Twilight and her friends and Spike? How exciting! Yeah, I know, right? 
but only if you are really useful and reliable by the end of day, Thomas. Oh, I'll be really useful and reliable by the end of day. You'll see. <laughs> Hello, what's going on here? And what is this in front of us? And look what we have here. The Kingdom of Crusaders. Or should we say, blank flanks. Oh no, not those three again. Don't worry, Crusaders, I got your back. Well, Diesel, Diamond Tiara, and Silver Spoon. This delivery right here is a very important delivery to the City Museum for the Sonor Day Celebration Party. And also, the engine that is the most really useful and reliable is to pull this very important delivery to the City Museum. And also, take a cruise around the Atlantic Ocean for a vacation with Twilight Sparkle and her friends and Spike. And that's what Sir Tom Han Princess Celestia says. Well, Thomas the Little Engine, what about me? I'm a really useful engine too. I should take a vacation by any chance. Yeah, Diesel's got a point. We never got a vacation our entire lives, you know. Mm, no. I think Sir Tom Han Princess Lesbia means the most really useful and reliable steamy. You'll never be that. Hmm. I think Thomas is right. I think they need a really useful and reliable steamy. I think Thomas will be chosen. And probably us. Yep. Okay, I think that's enough chatting. Come on, Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and Skooloo. We got some work to do. What? That's not fair. We worked so hard, and we never got a vacation. Yeah, I agree with you, Diamond Tiara. We'll show them that we are really useful and reliable than they are. We'll shunt this very important delivery to the City Museum. Then Sir Tom Han Princess Celestia will see how really useful and reliable as we are. That sounds like a brilliant idea, Diesel. Yeah, and maybe we'll get a vacation after all, instead of that blue tank engine and those blank flanks. Okay, my little ponies. If it's a vacation you want, it's a vacation you shall have. Now let's hop to it. Hey, a diesel, diamond tower, and silver spoon. Where are you going with that delivery? Get back here. Oh no, I have a feeling that this is not going to end well. <laughs> Diesels are no good, that Steamy's always say. But me, Diamond Char, and Silver Spoon will show them they're wrong by the end of the day. That's right, Diesel. <laughs> I'll be the most useful. I'll be the best one. I'll huff and I'll puff until the job is well done. That's the spirit, Thomas. Let's keep up the good work. Yep. The sooner we get this job done, the better. Wait. Is that these old diamond tar and silver spoon? Yeah. It looks like they're showing the very important delivery. Then we must chase after these old diamond tiara and silver spoon and stop them. Okay, Thomas, let's do it. 
All right, all aboard and let's go. Stop, Diesel, stop! Never! Stop, Diesel, stop! Never! You'll never take us alive, you little blue tank engine! We'll see about that! Yeah, little engines can do big things. We've got to get across! We can't stop now! Whoa, 
Whoa. 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 Oh no! Help! Anybody! Somebody! Please! Help! Whoa! Somebody help us! I don't want to die! Oh! We're all gonna die! We're all gonna die! Quad, Diesel, Diamond Charm, Silver Spoon, what can we do? I don't know, Thomas. Wow. We don't know either. Tell our mom and dad we love them. No, Diamond Charm, Silver Spoon, and don't worry, Diesel. Stay as still as you can. Yeah, don't worry. We're gonna pull you back to safety. Uh, okay. Please, Thomas, Apple Bloom, Sweetie Bell, and Spoo hurry. Okay, Diesel, Diamond Tiara, and Silver Spoon, hold on. <laughs> Oh no, the bridge is collapsing. Oh sweet Celestia, we really are gonna die. Oh no, we're not. Charm and Silver Spoon. Hooray! Yippee! Yes! We did it! Ha <laughs> ha! Well, I thought we were gonna die. Yeah. Phew. Thank you, Thomas, Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and Skulu. Thank you. Whoa. Well, the very important delivery is gone. Looks like there will be no decorations for the Sonor Day celebration party at the city museum. But, Thomas... You, Apple Bloom, Sweetie Bell, and Skulu say Diesel, Diamond Tar, and Silver Spoon for falling off a bridge. Thanks, Percy. That means a lot. Well done, Thomas. You say Diesel, Diamond Tar, and Silver Spoon for falling off a bridge. And that makes you the most really useful and reliable engine. Thank you, sir. And I couldn't get all the credit. Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and Skulu helped me out. And that's what I like to hear. And as a reward, you, Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and Skulu will take a vacation cruise with Twilight, her friends, and Spike. Wow! Thank you, Princess Celestia.
Well, Thomas, I hope you have a safe trip. Thanks, Percy. Me and my friends will keep in touch. We'll be back before you know it. Okay, Thomas, if you say so. Well, Thomas, hope you have a safe trip, E2, buddy. Thanks, E2, buddy. Oh, boy. This is going to be the most embarrassing day of my life, especially in front of those steamies and the others. Oh, hello, Diesel, Diamond Tiara, and Silver Spoon. What are you three doing here? Diesel, Diamond Tiara, and Silver Spoon has come to say goodbye and good luck. Ugh. Oh, boy. Goodbye, Thomas. And... Good luck, Thomas. It's too bad we didn't deserve vacation. Okay, your ship's gonna be here soon. Oh, and here she comes now. Cinders and ashes! Sweet Celestia! Hello everyone, how's it going? Wow! You are the fanciest ship I've ever seen! Why, thank you very much! <laughs> well, Miz, uh, do you have a name? Oh, it's probably something like Big Girl, or Ginormic Kiss, or Brenda, or, or Bella. My name's Olympic. Well, nice to meet you, Olympic. My name is Thomas. My name is Twilight Sparkle. My name is Pinkie Pie. My name is Rarity. And my name is Fluttershy. My name is Rainbow Dash. And my name is Applejack. My name is Spike. Hello, Olympic. My name is Apple Bloom. And I'm Sweetie Belle. And I'm Skooloo. And we're the Key Mark Crusaders. Nice to meet you. Oh, man. This is even more embarrassing and more embarrassing. Now let's say we get you all on board, shall we? Okay, Thomas, hold on. I'm going to get you on board, Olympic. There you go, Thomas. You're all on board and ready to go. Thanks, Cranky. All right, the time has come. Take her to see Mr. Murdoch. Yes, sir. We're leaving. All head slow. Yes, sir. Goodbye, everyone. See you all later. So, Olympic, where are we going? We are going to Titanic Seeking Spot, which is 
is my sister. Hmm. I heard stories of Titanic, but it sounds like fun. Yep. It sure is. It sure is. I'm having a good time, are you girls? Yep, I am, uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is the life, right? I could have said it better myself. Yep. Well, Olympic, I'm sorry about your loss about your sister Titanic. Oh, don't worry about it. I can always remember her in my heart. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Well, yes, I have a sister. She died a long time ago. It's kind of hard for me to explain. Well, it's okay, Thomas. I understand. And then, Wellsford, his henchmen, and especially Laura DeVille chase after me, Princess Twilight Sparkle, her friends, and Spike, Percy, Bambi, and Bambi's friends because they want to capture Princess Twilight Sparkle, kill her, and turn her into a coat. But I could not stop because I need to protect and save Princess Twilight Sparkle from the criminals, especially Wellsford and Lola DeVille. So I sped up, going faster and faster, trying to outrun Wellsford and the criminals, and especially Lola DeVille, trying to protect Princess Twilight Sparkle. Me, my team, Wellsford and the criminals, and Lola DeVille had the chase of our lives. We went over bridges, through tunnels, and into the snowy countryside. I was scared, but just inside. But I know that little engines can do big things. I thundered and roared, and I carried on, trying to protect Princess Twilight Sparkle from Wellsford, his henchmen, and Lola DeVille. Then suddenly, one of the Wellsford's henchmen has the dynamite ready to throw at us to blow us up. But as we are approaching the old big bridge, and one of the Wellsford's henchmen threw the dynamite, I sped up, my boiler bubbling with steam, and the dynamite landed on the bridge, and kaboom! The bridge got blown to bits, and it collapsed. And Wellsford, his henchmen, and Lola DeVille, 
ended up falling off the collapsed bridge. And me and my team cheered with joy when we saw that happen. Even Twilight and her friends is happy when they saw that happen. And we set off the journey trying to get back home. Wow. That is quite a story. Yep. You really think so? Yeah. But what happened to Wellsford afterwards? Oh, yeah, that. Well, Olympic, you see... Oh, hello, Spike. I didn't expect to see you out here. Oh, hello, Thomas and Olympic. What's wrong, Spike? You look sad and worried. Oh, uh, you know, I was just thinking. Of what exactly? Out with it. Well, it's a little hard for me to explain it. Well, whatever it is, Spike. I'm sure we can help you out. Well, okay. I think it's something has to do about Rarity. Rarity? That she hates getting herself dirty? I already know that. Reminds me of James, though. What? No, it's not that. Then what is it, then? Well, next month is her birthday. Oh yeah, that's right, her birthday. But what's the matter with that? You see, the thing is, I'm not sure what to give to her this time. Oh yeah. Didn't you ask Twilight and the others for any advice? Of course I did try that. But they suggest a thing that I already given to her. That's why I came here to Zora because this time I want to give her something different. Something as special as she is. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted to say this to Spike. Just ask her to marry already. That'll be a perfect gift. <laughs> Oh my gosh, really, Thomas? I think that's going a little too far. What? I was only joking. Yeah, anyways, listen, Spike. I know I never seen you and Rarity's relationship. And I know you wanted to give Rarity a special gift, whatever it is. I'm sure it'll be special enough for you. Yeah, I know. Bambi is so lucky. He got to be with someone he loves. Mine is kind of a different situation. Plus, you don't know Rarity as much as I do. She is so kind, smart, sweet, lovely, talented, and so, so generous. And a little drama queen. Thomas! Why, it's a joke. Oh, for the love of Pete. Look, for me, Rarity is a lot of things. But most importantly, she's undoubtedly the most beautiful. Oh, cried uh, Spike. Most talented and most smart. Uh, Spike. Most sweet, most lovely. Uh, Spike. And most very. Spike. Generous in the whole world. Oh, Spikey Blakey. <laughs> uh, Rudy. Uh, hey. Hi. <laughs> I try to warn you. Oh, you say some wonderful things, darling. <laughs> oh, hello, Thomas. Oh, hello, Rarity. I did try to warn Spike that you are literally right behind him. Oh, uh, Rarity, uh, what are you doing here? Well, I could ask you the same thing. You've been gone for so long. And Twilight got worried about you. 
Even I got worried about you. Oh, I see. How'd you know I was here? Well, I went to ask Twilight, and she went to Fluttershy, and I went to Pinkie Pie, and she knew exactly where you were. Some kind of present. Oh, for the love of Celestia. That gosh darn party pony. Spike, why are you here looking for a present? Uh, well, uh, you see, I... You see, I, I, uh, uh, I, uh. Go on, lover boy. Clock's ticking. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Thomas. What? It was just a joke. Oh, brother. <laughs> That's why I came here to search for something special to give you to your birthday, but I just couldn't find it. Oh my. Now I feel awful. Don't be. It's the moment of truth. <gasps> Spike, I can't believe you take your time and went through all that. Just for me. Well, of course I did. But in the end, he was so regretted. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Because you already have that special gift for me. What? I do? Mm-hmm. What do you mean? I didn't get one? Aww. That is so cute. Yep. I told you so. That kind of warms my heart a little. I could have said it better myself. <laughs> you know, Spike, there is one gift that you want to give for Rarity. Oh, okay, I remember. All right, Rarity, I would like you to close your eyes, please. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. You can open your eyes now. <sighs> I'm... I'm flying. Nothing like it, huh? Well, I have to agree. That does look romantic. Yep, you're right, Thomas. But this is not just for Rarity. But this is also for you, Titanic. Hey, Olympic, why are we stopping? 
A storm is coming. Um, I don't know if it's a storm cloud or not. A storm is coming? That's funny. I thought it was going to be a perfect day today. Yeah, you're right, Thomas. But I don't think those are storm clouds. Boss, my buffers. Holy smokes. Hello, Olympic. We finally meet face to face. <laughs> uh, who are you? The name's Bismarck. And don't you forget, it, pal. Oh, sinners and ashes. <coughs> People and ponies of the RMS Olympic. We come on behalf of the fearsome. The powerful. The almighty. Storm King! Fizzling fireboxes. He looks horrible. You think? And now! To deliver the evil, evil message! Put your hooves together for Commander Tempest! And also... The most toughest truck in the world, Mackenzie. Wait, is that a unicorn? I think so, but what happened to her horn? Tempest, is it? How may we help you? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. How about we start with your complete and total surrender? That's right. A complete, big, total surrender. Um, hi there. I'm the Princess of Friendship. 
I don't know exactly what's going on here, but I know we can tough things out. Oh, goody. We have a princess of friendship on board Olympic. Yeah, it's almost too easy. Here's the deal, princess. I need your magic. Give it up nicely, please. Or else we can make it difficult. For everyone on the RMS Olympic. Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Not on my watch. I don't think so. Come on, Olympic. Let's get out of here. Go, go, go. Go right. Hard to starboard. You heard Olympic. Hard to starboard. Full throttle. Dang it! we never make it. Oh gosh, we got chased down by a battleship. We just got our cupcakes handed to us by the worst party crusher ever. What are we supposed to do? We almost got killed or worse. Yeah, we almost got killed by that battleship 
and a pickup truck and that that no horn pony. Oh, sweet Celestia. I'm glad we escaped. I mean, Tempest wants Twilight's magic. So now what? We can't have Tempest steal Twilight's magic. Yeah, I have to agree. We almost got killed back there. Does that mean we have to keep running? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you saw how dangerous that battleship is? What are we going to do? Everyone calm down. There's no time to panic. This is the perfect time to panic. Coast Guard, this is RMS Olympic. We are under attack. We need some help here. Hello? Dang it. The radio's down. What the heck? The radio's down? How did that happen? How long has it been down? Uh, I don't know. Dang it. We're screwed! Uh, don't worry everyone, I'll call for help on my cell phone. Hello? 911? We need some help, hello? We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check- Dang it! Ugh. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check- Well that's just great. Now what should we do? Uh-oh, looks like we got a storm coming. Oh no, it's not Bismarck or Tempest, is it? Oh no, 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 it's a real storm. A real, really bad storm. Uh, Thomas, everyone, you might want to hang on. It's going to be one heck of a ride. Oh, cinders and ashes. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
Glad we made it through that storm. Yeah, we made it through all those big waves. Yeah, I thought we'd never make it yesterday. Yeah, I thought we'd never make it yesterday either. Gosh, what a ride. Hey, uh, by the way, Olympic, where are we? Um... That's a good question. I don't know where we are. Wait a minute! You... You mean we are... Yes, we are. Oh, no! We're lost in the Atlantic Ocean! We're lost in the Atlantic Ocean! Why? Ah, uh, I can't believe we lost them! Don't worry, Mackenzie. We're gonna capture them eventually. I don't know what eventually means, but it sounds very, very long. What I mean is, we're gonna capture the Princess of Friendship and steal all of her magic. But you're gonna help me first, right? Yeah, we're gonna have Storm King to help us. To restore my horn. And also to restore my engine. Because my engine is, you know, a piece of junk. Yeah, I know, Mackenzie. Your old engine is always a piece of junk. But like I said, we're gonna have Storm King to give us our rewards. My reward is to restore my horn. And don't forget about my reward. My reward is I'm gonna get a special engine from the Storm King. That'll be like a dream come true. Yep, you can say that again. Well, answer it. Where am I supposed to be looking? I never understand how this spell works. Tempest and Mackenzie! Over here, Your Excellency. Well, where? I I don't see you. Where are you? Uh, no, no, no. Look right. Uh, look right. You're right. Look on your right. Oh, yeah, there you are. Here's the deal. I'm in the middle of a big rebrand here. The Storm King is tracking, well, as intensely intimidating. But you know what? I need to back it up. You know what I need to back it up with? A storm apocalypse around the world. I'll be great. Now, Tempest, you and Mackenzie promised me the Princess of Friendship's magic that can control the elements that can bring the storm apocalypse around the world. But right now, I'm powerless. I can't bring the storm apocalypse around the stinking world. Heh. <laughs> and if you have the Princess of Friendship's magic, you'll be able to bring the storm apocalypse around the world, and you'll be able to rule the world. And once that storm apocalypse happens, towns and cities will be completely damaged. That's right, Mackenzie. But right now I'm holding a staff that shoots like a missile launcher. Give us a few days. We'll have everything ready for you. And one more thing, Storm King. We lost the Princess of Friendship, believe me or not. But we'll capture her eventually. Wherever that word is. Remember Tempest. And especially you, Mackenzie. Only I have the power of the Storm Apocalypse. Make the dark magic work, and you'll get your rewards. Fail me, then your horn and your engine won't be the only thing that's broken. It won't be a problem. You can count on us. Great! I'm gonna power up, crash and bang, and be the biggest, baddest, baddest, baddest. 
Sorry, bad spell service. You want me to call him back? Okay, then. As soon as I destroy Olympic and capture the Princess of Friendship, then it'll be all worth it. <laughs> Hey, Olympic, are you sure you know where we're going? Of course I do, Thomas. Oh, fizzling fireboxes! You're not kidding! Holy moly, guacamole! That's a big wave! Holy dear God! Holy sweet Celestia! That's the biggest wave I've ever seen! Yeah, you're right, Twilight. You're telling me. Holy sweet Celestia! Oh no! What should we do? Don't worry, Olympic. We'll think of something. Olympic, go to full power. We're gonna go over that tsunami. Okay! Okay, everyone, pull on to something or wherever you can. When we hit the tidal wave, heads down. Well, wait a minute. It, is that it? That's it? That's all we can do. Oh, my. It's like surfing on a tsunami. Yeah, I'm afraid so, Fluttershy. I'm afraid so. Okay. Hang on to something, everyone. Are you sure this will work, Thomas? Of course it'll work. Uh, Thomas? It's getting closer! Bust my buffers!
Come on, Olympic. Come on. You can do it. I can do this. I can do this. Everybody, hold on. Oh, crud. And if I don't make it, find me a wife and tell her I love her. Holy smokes. Hey, Tommy. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! 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 Oh! Whoa, whoa! What do you think, Twilight? Should we ask them to help us to get back onto Olympic? I don't know if we should or not. We don't even know them. Hey guys, come check this out. Looks like a pack of stowaways. What are we supposed to do with them? Ah! What the? What are those horses doing on me? I say we... I don't know. Roast them? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's say the book, Captain Solano. Storm King's rule book says, throw them overboard. <laughs> Well, horses, I don't know who you are, but goodbye. Stop right there! Touch those ponies and you are dead meat. Yeah, I mean it. Those are my passengers. That's right. 
So get your filthy hands off those ponies or there'll be consequences. Yeah, there's only five of you and hundreds of us. Yeah! Fighting is not really my thing. I'm more into fashion just like Rarity. But I'll rip you all to pieces if you touch her and kill her. Twilight, others, are you all right? Yeah, we're fine, Thomas. Thanks for coming back for us. No problem. A good friend never leaves a friend behind. Am I right? Yeah, you're right, Thomas. Oh, uh, are these your passengers? Uh, we, we didn't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should know. Now hand them over, and everything will be fine. Uh, yes, yes, uh, no problem. Huh? Olympic? Olympic, is that you? Huh? Who are you? Olympic, don't you recognize me? Um, I'm sorry, uh, do we know each other? Don't you remember? I'm Sathera. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Sathera. It's been a while. Don't you remember? We used to work together back to where we used to be. Um... Oh! Oh yeah, I remember. There you go! Wow, it's nice to see you again, Sephira. And it's nice to see you again, Olympic. Wait, you two know each other? Why, yes, Thomas. We used to work together back to where we used to be. Well, Sephira, my name is... Thomas, Thomas the Tank Engine, and you already know Olympic. My name is Twilight Sparkle. I'm the Princess of Friendship. And my name is Pinkie Pie. My name is Rarity. And my name is Fluttershy. And the name's Rainbow Dash. And my name is Applejack. My name is Spike. My name is Apple Bloom, and I'm Sweetie Bell, and I'm Skooloo, and we're the Cutie Mark Crusaders. Well, nice to meet you all, and this is my captain and my crew. Hello, I'm Captain Solano, and this is my crew. This is Boyle. Ahoy there. And this is Mullet. Ahoy there. How's it going? And this is Lex Spittle. Ahoy there. Um, somebody usually calls me Lex. And this is Squabble. Wow! Well, nice to meet you. But, what is with the symbols? I mean, kind of reminds me of this Bismarck and Tempest and this creep called Storm King. Yeah, Tom's got a point. What happened? Oh, yeah. Storm King hijacked us and forced us to do whatever he says. But, Sephira, we used to work together. We carry cargo and passengers here to there. You are a pirate ship. No, I'm just a useless ship because of Storm King. What? No, Sephira, don't say that. You must be really useful again, just like me and Olympic. Wait a minute. You said you used to be pirates? Yes, we used to be, but not anymore we're not. All right, listen. 
You birds and you, Sephira, have a choice to make. You can let Storm King tell you how to live your horrible lives. Or you can be awesome again. Come on, Rainbow Dash. What's the point? Sephira, listen to me. Rainbow Dash is right. I'm not going to let that creep Storm King telling you what to do. We need you back to your old self again. I need you back to your old self again. You're right. Of course we're right. What do you say we get your old job back? Okay then. Let's go. I know the world can't get you down. Things don't work out quite the way that you thought. Feeling like all your best days are done. Your fears and doubts are all you've got. But there's a light shining deep inside. Beneath those fears and doubts, so just squash them and let it shine. For all the world to see that it is time, yeah, time to be awesome. It's been it's time to be awesome. this dull routine we've been forced to do. Don't let them rob you of who you are. Be awesome, it's all up to you. I feel the light stirring deep inside. It's like a tale still yet to be told. That's what I call a real pirate ship. Yep, you can say that again, Thomas. Ha <laughs> ha, just like the old days. Yep, I knew you, honey. And now for the final cutscene. Oh no, Rainbow Dash, you're not gonna do what I think you're gonna do, are you? Why, Twilight? What is she gonna do? Sonic Rainboom? I think you're gonna find out sooner or later. Wow! Yep, guess that's the Sonic Rainboom. <laughs> Oh, yeah, baby. Dang it. I knew she was going to do a Sonic Rainboom. And I stand corrected. Ah, uh, Olympic has got to be around here somewheres. Huh? Wow! What the heck is that? Wow! I think that's a Sonic Rainboom. 
Ah, I see. I think when there's a sonic rain boom, there's Olympic and that princess of friendship of hers. Let's go get them. <laughs> okay, Bismarck, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna do something that I should have done days ago. <laughs> well, Olympic. Looks like they're having fun over there. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm in position. The cannon is ready. And... Fire!
Almost got you. Come on, hurry. Go, go now. Uh, uh, uh. It's okay, Rory. You're going to be okay. Almost there. Ah! Direct hit. Yahoo. Yes. Yippee. But the princess of friendship is not there. Dang it. Now we don't know where she is. Well, it looks like we're just going to have to find her and capture her. Come on, let's go. Phew. I thought we'd never make it. Okay, what should we do now? I think we're just going to have to wait for help. I hope Sephira and her crew is okay. Pinky, I hate to tell you this, but I think they're long gone by now. Wait a minute. Are you... Are you saying that Sephira and her crew is gone? I'm afraid so, Rainbow Dash. I'm sorry. No, Twilight. I'm the one that should be sorry. I should have done that sonic rain boom. Now I caused Sephira's and her crew's death. It was all my fault. I'm sorry. Rainbow Dash, don't say that. It wasn't your fault. I mean, you just did a little mistake. That's all. Thanks, Applejack. That means so much. <laughs> oh, come here, girls. Group hug. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Best friends I ever have. Gosh, I hope we find Sephira, her crew, Twilight, and her friends before Bismarck and the guards does. Oh, for crying out loud. If Storm King touches Twilight and also steal all of her magic and also kill her, I'm going to be kicking butts and taking names. Uh, what? What? It was just the same. Hey, what is that over there? Hmm. That looks like the escape pod. Perfect. Twilight and her friends might be in there. Let's go get them. 
Roger. Okay, Olympic, keep it coming. A little bit closer. Keep going. A little further. A little further. Hey, wait a minute. What is that noise? Um, I'm not sure. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. A little closer. Steady, steady. A little closer. Steady. Keep going. Keep it coming. Steady, steady. Keep going. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, and stop. Thomas and Olympic, we are glad to see you. That's right. Like I said before, a good friend never leaves a friend behind. That's truly right, Thomas. All right. It looks like we're all here. You're not going to make a fool out of me this time, Olympic. And you, princess. And you, blue pit squeak. Oh, no. It's Bismarck and the guards again. Tempest, no. Uh, Thomas, what, what do you suggest we do? I say we better... Oh, I don't know. Get us the places out of here! No! Get back here! Get them now! Oh, come on. Will you hold still already? Come on, come on, Olympic! Stop on it! I'm going as fast as I can! Well, go faster! And the sooner I destroy Olympic and that blue pit squeak, the better. Oh no! Boulder Rock, right ahead! Hold on! Oh 
Oh, crud, a boulder rock! Dang it! We lost them again! Okay, now is everyone here? Twilight's here, Pinky's here, Rarity's here, Rainbow Dash is here, Fluttershy's here, Applejack is here, Spike is here, Apple Bloom is here, Skulu is here, Sweetie Belle is here, Olympic is here, I'm here. Okay, looks like we're all here. Hey, uh, by the way, where's Sephira and her crew? Oh, Safira and her crew didn't make it. Bismarck killed them. What? Safira and her crew is gone? What? Safira and her crew is dead? No! That poor pirate ship! Why, that monster battleship! Oh, I just wish it was me who'd been killed. Really? No, but I am very unhappy. Oh. Hey, calm down. At least we have each other. Yeah, Thomas might be right. At least we have each other. You know... I have a feeling. And what would that be, Twilight? Do you think Tempest and Mackenzie still has a good heart inside them? What? Twilight, are you insane? Do you have any idea what Tempest and Mackenzie are trying to do to you? They're trying to steal your magic, especially Bismarck and Storm King, remember? Yeah, Twilight, Thomas has got a point. And besides, I believe Storm King is trying to steal your magic so he can bring the storm apocalypse around the entire world. Wait a minute. A storm apocalypse around the entire world? That sounds awful. Yeah, I know, right? And I believe that Storm King is going to rule the entire world as well. So what are we going to do? I say we keep running until we find a way out of this mess. I'm not so sure about that, Thomas. I'm just not so sure.
wait a minute. Hold on. What's wrong, Olympic? I heard something. Hmm. Well, I don't hear anything. Holy crud! It's a giant kraken! Cinders and ashes! my buffers. The Kraken is about to pull us underwater. Holy tarnation! What are we going to do? No, 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 no! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh no! It looks like this is the end! Kraken kill Sephira. Holy sweet Celestia. Holy sweet Celestia. I gotta make a phone call for help. Come on, Twilight. You know that radio is still not working. I have to give that radio a try. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't.
Hello? 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 Mayday! This is the Armist Olympic! Coast Guard? Coast Guard! This is the Armist Olympic! We need some help! Do you read me? Coast Guard! This is the Armist Olympic! Do you... What the? What in the world? Excuse me, princess. That's great! That's just great! Now where the heck are we, huh? You're sort of viable, Captain, you know that? You're sort of viable! Yeah, 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 right. You're sort of viable, I'll tell you this! Twilight, calm down. It's not worth it. Ah, uh, fine. I can't believe the captain destroyed the radio. Come on, Olympic. Let's get out of here. Uh, yeah. You're probably right. Olympic. I'm really sorry about Sephira. <laughs> when I saw her sacrifice herself for us, the way I saw her sink because of the Kraken, and she got blown up. <laughs> hey, Olympic. It's okay. Sephira had the rights to sacrifice herself just to save us from that Kraken. I know, but... But she is a good friend of me back in the past. Hey, Olympic. It's okay. You got us. We got your back, okay? Thomas, I'm lucky to have you on board. You're such a good friend. Yeah. Everyone, listen. We are all gonna make it back to civilization. You are all gonna make it back to your families. We're all gonna make it through this. Look. I know the only thing that I love in this world is my friends and all my friends back on Sodor. But the only thing that I love the most in this world is my sister. Before she died, she once told me being brave is not the same as not feeling scared. Being brave is about what you do even when you do feel scared. And after she once told me that, and when she died long ago, I moved on. 
I carried on my life. We are all gonna make it through this mess. This is not the time to say your goodbyes. We are gonna gather our courage. We are going to live on. We are going to survive. We are going to face this entire thing head on. You can't get away from me this time, Olympic! Oh no! It's Bismarck and the guards again! Oh no, not again! Go, Olympic! Go! Oh no, you don't! Come on, we're losing them! Okay, I'm gonna get you Olympic, and also you Princess, and also you Blue Pit Squeak. I got you locked on. Okay. I'm in position, and I'm armed. Okay, I have them locked on. Okay, they've been locked on. Okay, then far already. I want to get my princess and have Storm King store my horn. Okay, Bismarck, fire! Fire! Olympic, we need to work together. But Thomas, we need to outrun Bismarck and the guards. And we also 
also got to protect Princess Twilight Sparkle and her friends from Bismarck and the guards. Oh, and Beck, outrunning Bismarck and the guards isn't going to solve anything. We need to outsmart them, just like I did to Wolfer and the criminals long ago. Okay, but how? Okay, Olympic, when Bismarck is going to start shooting again, go over there and make a hard right. Go over there? How far? Not far. You better be knowing what you're doing, Thomas. Now! What the? No! Now turn! Left turn or right turn? Left! Keep moving! A little full power! And now make a right and a left turn. What? Right and a left turn? Just trust me and do it! You see that little island? Run towards it and then make a hard left. You better be right about this. Now. What the? Oh, cool, little island. Dang it, we lost them.
Okay, everyone listen up. We need to find a way to go against Bismarck and the guards, and especially Storm King. They've been causing more trouble with us. We need to put an end to their reign of horror. And also, I can't just let Storm King steal all Twilight's magic so he can bring the Storm Apocalypse around the world. And also rule the world. I gotta take him down. Especially Bismarck and the guards. But how? I can't take down a battleship. Yeah, Bismarck is... Like, you know... Scary? Yeah, I know, Twilight. But I don't have a choice. I gotta stop Bismarck somehow. Especially Storm King. Stop Bismarck? And Storm King? But how? We'll never take them down. And we got no way to defeat those monsters. Yeah, we got no way to take them down. Yeah, I agree. And besides, we can't go against them. We're just... us. <laughs> Hey, come on, listen. If Storm King steals all Twilight's magic, he's gonna bring the Storm Apocalypse around the entire world and cause a lot of damage to towns and cities. And also, he's gonna rule the entire world like he was gonna be the king of the world. And until that happens, well, I'm not going down without a fight. But, Thomas, how are we going to take down a battleship? Yeah, and besides, it was all on me. I'm the only one Tempest wants. I'm the only princess around the ocean. Look, listen, we had to take down Bismarck and the guards and especially Storm King. We had to put an end to their reign of horror. We just have to try, okay? Well, yes, but how? Ahoy there! What the? Who said that? Hey, uh, Olympic, why are we stopping? I heard someone from that rock. I know that's some mighty heroes that could handle this easily. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. A stowaway. Himself. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, uh, what is he trying to do to you, Twilight? Oh, yeah. We met him, and he tried to sell us on our way to Marshall Island, trying to save you from Wellsford. And the criminals, especially that one-armed man. Well, wait a minute. You're you're trying to sell Twilight and her friends? How could you? Oh, I've seen everything, everyone. I have seen those heroes have faced to Storm King's army and escaped. I've seen them tap the streets of the roughest towns, break out the tightest situations. And inspire all others to join their cause. Wow! Wow! That is so incredible! Wow! Don't get too excited. He's just talking about us, remember? What? Oh, come on! <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyways, who are you? 
Oh yeah, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Capper Dapper Paws, but everyone calls me Capper. And where do you come from? Oh, I come from Clutch Town, but sadly, my home in Clutch Town has been condemned. How come? Oh, it's kind of a long story, but it's just a useless house. Just forget it. It's no big deal. I'll get over it. Well, okay, uh, about those heroes of yours? Oh yeah, the heroes. I almost forgot. They even escaped the doom at the hooves of Commander Tempest. Yeah, that was pretty great, actually. Are you kidding me? That was awesome! Wow! We figured you could use a claw. Yeah, we're on board to help you fight the Storm King. Yeah, that crazy battleship almost killed us. And that Kraken just killed Sephira. But you got back our ARG. <laughs> yeah. Now we're ready to kick some butts. But seriously, I can't take down a battleship. I'm just a cruise liner. Olympic and everyone, listen. I actually mean it. I want to stop Bismarck and Storm King and the guards. I gotta put an end to their misery. The pirates and Capper were right. We gotta take them down. Whoa, whoa, wait, we gotta run now? I know we saw them for only a few days, but I can already tell. And you might be right, Twilight. Tempest and Mackenzie might still have a good heart inside them. I can't just sit here and let Storm King rule the world or cause too much damage and destroy all of us. I gotta do something about this. We gotta stop Storm King and Bismarck and the guards. And if you're wanting to stop Bismarck and the guards, and especially Storm King, then let's do it. That's right. We're all in this together. Yep. We got your back, Thomas. Well, all right then. Let's do it. Okay. We're gonna end Bismarck's and Storm King's reign of horror once and for all. Okay, we're gonna sink Bismarck and get rid of Storm King and the guards for good. And if we fail, we're dead. We saw a big iceberg on the way while we're still in Sephira. We can use that iceberg to sink Bismarck and destroy him and Storm King and all the guards. Oh yeah, baby. The Atlantic Ocean and the entire world is about to be saved. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna work, but don't worry because I've got a plan. So listen up, here's what we're gonna do. So, Captain Solano, is this the ice bird that you're talking about? Yes it is, Thomas. This is it. Okay then, let's put this plan to action. Okay, let me get this straight. You want me to go full fall reverse just to have Bismarck hit the iceberg so he can sink? Yeah. That was the plan. We have Bismarck hit the iceberg so he can sink and be completely destroyed. What if this doesn't work? 
It has to work. Okay, Thomas, if you say so. Okay, Olympic has got to be around here somewheres. And very soon, victory will be ours. And besides, Mackenzie, do you really think the Princess of Friendship will keep all of her magic to herself? Hmm. You know, I really don't think so. Well then, Mackenzie, it's time to share. I can't wait to show the world what I can really do. Uh, seriously? What can you really do? Yeah, I agree. What can you really do, Tempest? Oh, you'll find out sooner or later. Well, I did say I can bring the storm apocalypse around the world and also rule the world as well. Just wait till I get my Princess of Friendship's magic then I'll be powerful. That'll be like a dream come true. But there is one teensy wincy problem. I believe this world is, oh, I don't know, cute and peaceful? I don't like cute and peaceful. I never liked cute and peaceful. I never do. Yeah, yeah, we know. Yeah, but don't worry, Storm King. Very soon or later, you will get the Princess of Friendship's magic, and you'll be powerful enough to bring the Storm Apocalypse around the entire world. Okay, then. Hey, Storm King, you promised to give me the special engine? And you promised to restore my horn? Blah, da, 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 da. Uh, please, uh, hang on a second. Oh, for the love of Pete. What the? Hey! Get back here! I have you now, Olympic! And you, Blue Pick Sweet! And also you, Princess! We're gonna steal all of your magic! One by one. No, you won't, Bismarck, because the magic of friendship you refuse to believe in will get the better of you. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Ah, hold still so I can destroy you! Then do it, Slowpoke!
You can run, but you can't hide. And you can't get away from me, Olympic. And you, blue pip squeak. And I'm gonna get you, princess. I'm gonna kill you all. Don't worry, Bismarck. I'll take it from here. I'm so totally over this with this cute and peaceful thing. This ends now! Oh no, Captain! Ha! Good job, Storm King! Direct hit! Ha 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 ha! Yeah! Ah! Oh. oh no! Captain Solano! Take control! Oh yes! Of course! Ha ha ha! Nice shooting, Storm King! Ha 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 ha! Victory will be ours! And the entire world will be ba 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 boo, baby! Okay! Okay, Storm King! You are able to shoot down the people on the RMS Olympic! Now, give me the special engine! And I'll use my power to serve you. And please, restore my horn. And I'll use my power to serve you. Ha 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 ha. Who cares about your dicky little unicorn horn, Tempest? And who cares about your stupid special engine, Mackenzie? Wait, what? But, but you promised. But, but, wait a minute. We, we, we had an agreement. Hey, hey, get with the program. I've been using you, Tempest, and I've been using you, Mackenzie, this entire time. Wait, what? You, you lied to us? Mm-hmm, that's right. It's kind of what I do. <gasps> oh no! What the? Twilight, what are you doing? Let her do it. She has the rights to do it. Eh, uh, no, 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 hold on there. No, 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 no. <laughs> hold on. Huh? What? Why are you saving me? Because this is what friends do. My goodness. Boss, my buffers. Twilight was right. Tempest and Mackenzie does have a good heart. Ha 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 ha. Isn't that just so cutie cute cute? Ha ha ha. Oh yeah. See ya. Holy sweet Celestia. Oh, no, you don't. You get your filthy hands off of them, you traitor. Ha ha ha.
give me back that princess. Whoa, I didn't see that one coming. Gah. Come on, Olympus. Stick to the plan. Okay. Victory belongs to me. You can't get away from me, Olympic. I'm going to kill you, Olympic. Man, you're pretty fast. Okay, Olympic, now! Uh, why'd you go over there? Uh, dude, I'm all looking for you. Huh? What? No, no, I will not go down like this! What the? No, no, no! no. No, no, no! Ah! Holy smoke! Cinders and ashes! Bust my buffers! It
Sayonara, you creep. Dang. We sunk the battleship. Eh, eh, I'm not finished with you yet. Eh, you're not a really useful engine, you little blue pit squeak. Eh, you're just a blue tank engine locomotive. Not a blue tank engine locomotive. I'm the blue tank engine locomotive. Eh, what? Bon voyage, monkey boy. Uh, yes, Captain? That is one heck of a job. All done. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Yes! <laughs> Tommy, did it! Now that is what I'm talking about. Yes! <laughs> yes! Well, here we are. This is my sister's sinking spot. Is this it, Olympic? Yes, it is, Thomas. This is Titanic's sinking spot. Now, I want you to be respectful, and please, do not describe death spots or anything. Okay, okay, Olympic. I won't. Now, let's quiet down. Capper is making an announcement about the Titanic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I'm going to make an announcement about the Titanic. Thank you. Okay, here lies of the Titanic, a.k.a. Olympic Sister. Olympic Sister, named Titanic, is first built on March 31st, 1909. On May 31st, 1911, Titanic is launched into the ocean, ready to start her first day of work. All through 1911, Titanic is going pretty, pretty well. She thought her voyage at sea is going to last forever. But in 1912, that can suddenly change. Titanic is going to New York. She saw her voyage on April 10th, 1912. On April 14th, 1912, Titanic accidentally hit the iceberg. 
and Titanic started sinking after she hit the iceberg. And now Titanic was doomed. And after midnight on April 15th, 1912, Titanic kept on sinking. And sinking and sinking. And Titanic broke her back while sinking. She kept on sinking. Titanic kept on sinking and sinking and sinking and sinking and until she reached the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. And very soon, Titanic was no more. And sooner or later in the morning, a little ship named Carpathia came to rescue the survivors of the Titanic and take them home to New York. And on September 1st, 1985, Titanic was finally found. And it looks like Titanic has been lost under the Atlantic Ocean for many, many years since 1912. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is all I can say about the Titanic. Thank you. Okay, men, would you do the honors? With pleasure. All right, that's enough. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll never forget you, Titanic. We love you. Okay, Olympic, how are we going to get back home? I don't know, Thomas. I still think we're still lost in the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, no. How are we going to get back home now? Don't worry, Mackenzie. Let me think. Just let me think. Okay, how are we going to get back home? Hmm. Hey, look. There are some ducks that are hanging north for the summer. Wait a minute. Ducks? Heading north? For the summer? Flourish, you are a genius! I am? Why? I think I found a way home.
Well, I guess Thomas Olympic, Twilight, her friends, and the Kingdom of Crusaders are lost in the Atlantic Ocean. I'm very sad about them. I guess the engines are sad about them. I don't believe this. My best friend and all our other friends are lost in the Atlantic Ocean. I don't know, maybe they sink, they got lost or captured or who knows what. Don't worry everyone, I'm sure they'll be back eventually. Well, they should have been back here about two days ago. I believe they're, you know, gone. No, don't say that, Gordon. How about we just go back to Burn Docks? I'm sure they'll be back eventually. Yeah, Henry is right. Let's go to Burn Docks, shall we? Yeah, I still believe they're gone. And I guess Sir Tom Hat, Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, and Princess Cadence is sad about them. <sighs> they should have been back by now. Well, I don't know what to say, Tom. Um, I guess Thomas, Olympic, Twilight, her friends, and the King of Crusaders are lost in the Atlantic Ocean. I guess there may be you know, gone? Yeah, you might be right, Celestia. I guess they are gone. What? No, 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 no. They can't be gone. How about we just go back to Burn Docks and find out what's going on? Yeah, you might be right, Princess Cadence. Let's go back to Burn Docks and find out what's going on immediately. Well, I guess they're maybe gone by now. Whoa, hey, whoa, what's going on, guys? We're about to ask you the same question. What is going on? Why haven't they come back yet? Yeah, they should have been back here about two days ago. What happened? Didn't you get any information about Olympic and the crew? No, Percy. And guys, sir, Princess Celestia. I hate to say this, but I believe Olympic Thomas, Twilight, her friends, and the Kingdom Heart Crusaders might be gone by now. Wait a minute. What's that sound? Wow, I guess I was wrong. 
They're not gone after all. Welcome home. Thomas, Olympic, Twilight, Others, Spike, Apple Bloom, Sweebel, Skulu, you're home. We thought you're never going to come home. Yeah, we'll come home. Yep, that's right. We'll come home. Oh, yeah. Cranky, don't forget Mackenzie, the pickup truck. Huh? Uh, who? Oh, yeah, I'm over here. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Mackenzie. That was unexpected. There you go. That should do it. So, Thomas, who are your new friends? Oh, them. Let me explain the whole story. And that's how it all happened. Wow. I can't believe you went through that experience. Ah, I see. That's why you've been gone for so long. It's because of Storm King and that battleship named Bismarck is trying to capture you so Storm King can bring the storm apocalypse around the world. Yep, but we managed to take them down. But what happened to the Storm King's monsters and that porcupine creep dude? We killed them and we ate their livers. <laughs> Got you, didn't I? <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. They might have went down with Bismarck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought you were serious for a second. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thomas, you said something about Mackenzie and Tempest. What? Why, Gordon? What do you mean? Well, let's see now. You said something about Mackenzie and Tempest trying to capture Princess Twilight Sparkle and have Storm King steal all her magic so he can bring the Storm Apocalypse around the entire world and also rule the world. Huh. What? But we didn't be... uh, uh... Gordon, are you serious? Mackenzie and Tempest didn't mean to do anything wrong. You should give them a second chance. And you're absolutely right, Thomas. Mackenzie and Tempest. I think you can be really useful on my railway. Yeah, come on, cheer up. Thank you, Thomas, and thank you, Princess, for saving my pony friend. No problem, Kenzie, and call me Twilight. Well, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Well, I did tell you one thing, Kenzie, and what would that be? That I want to show the world what I can do, right? Really? What can you really do? Oh, you'll find out. Watch this. Mackenzie, what do you think? That was 
sold in pineapple. I didn't know you can do fireworks. <laughs> it looks like the 4th of July came a little early this year. <laughs> friend's name is Thistlepop Berry Twist? Yeah, she's been renamed after she lost her horn. Well, okay then. That's a nice name. Hey, Thomas? Yes, Olympic? I'd just like to thank you for coming with me. I was so afraid that Bismarck is gonna kill me, but thanks to you, I managed to beat him. No problem, Olympic. That's what friends are for, right? That's truly right, Thomas. Welcome to the team, Olympic. You're gonna be a lot here. Thank you, Cranky. You know what, Olympic? I think you really are the unsinkable ship. Just like your sister, Titanic. Thank you, Thomas. That means so much.
a sailor's life is a life for me. How I love to sail on the bounding sea. And I never, never, ever do a thing about the weather, for the weather never, ever does a thing for me. Sailing, sailing over the bounding sea. A sailor's life is the life for me. How I love to sail on the bounding sea. If you want to sail a ship like mine, I'd be a sailor all the time. Then learn to do the sailor's hong just, just like me. And I love the wind that blowing as we leave the key. Till we rather jetty and we let the sail go free. Cause I always have the notion for a life upon the ocean. Dance the more I do the motion of the rolling sea. Sailing.